hello everyone welcome back to mrs Dre food channel in today's recipe i am going to show you how i prepare my Ghanaian assorted fish light soup so if you are interested let's get started for this recipe i have got so many different types of fish i've got red sea brim i have got mackerel i have also got black sea bass i have also got the black sea brim some fish eggs and some smoked haddock so this is a fish galore soup so let's take a look at the ingredients so i have got one shallot onion here one scotch bonnet about six garlic cloves and i've got about 90 grams fresh ginger and i've soaked here one and a half teaspoon of peppercorns in warm water to make it softer here i have got three plum tomatoes i've got two medium-sized onion i've got two big size scotch bonnet pepper two medium ones and two garden eggs and of course you know me i have got some close cup mini mushrooms i am also going to add my geisha mackerel and tomato sauce i am going to add some tomato puree and of course i'm going to use my sankofa natural soup spices i'll be using between one and three mini maggi cubes i've got salt i've got fish stock and i've got crayfish flavor stock from the brand jumbo all right friends so the first thing to do is to steam our fish and i'm going to do it with my shallot my scotch bonnet my garlic cloves my ginger and my soaked peppercorns with 500 ml of water and i'm going to spare you the blending part because you all know how to blend all right so now that i have blended all this i'm going to pour it on my washed fish of course and then i am going to add a little bit of seasoning so i'm going to add one tablespoon of salt to it and then i am going to add one tablespoon of crayfish seasoning okay we can also use prawn if you have and i am going to add one tablespoon of fish seasoning stock and then i'm going to add one of my sankofa soup spices now i am going to cover it up and let it boil for about one to two minutes okay so this is it now and as you can see it is starting to boil and this is where i'm going to try and turn over my fish but gently you know because fish is so delicate and i'm going to leave it for another minute so let's say in total just um steam it for about three minutes three to four minutes and this is it guys this is it and now i am going to remove my fish and keep it on the plate that you see beside me okay so just be gentle and remove it so this is very very simple to do and this is it here i have got my fish and i'll use it later so now i am going to add my remaining vegetables which are the two medium-sized onion my three plum tomatoes and my two garden eggs with two of my uh, scotch bonnet peppers now i am going to cover it up and let it cook until all the vegetables are cooked through and as you can see here it is almost done i just have to leave it just a few more minutes for the onions to be fully cooked and i'm also giving it a little stir all right guys so it looks like our veggies are ready now and the next step is to take them out from it by the way if you don't want to use garden eggs you can replace it with something else you can use carrots um, some people also use butter beans so it is really up to you all right friends so here are my veggies and i am going to blend this 
um, straight away without adding any water to it all right just blend it as it is so in the meantime i am going to add one tablespoon of tomato puree if you can't find tomato puree please use tomato paste add it stir it and then cover it and let it simmer for about two minutes and this is it about two minutes and as you have noticed the color has started to change and it has become more red so now I'm going to add my blended vegetables so remember the one I showed you earlier on without any water I'm just repeating it and then I am going to add my water so now I am making my soup so I'm going to be adding about three liters of water and this is warm water by the way but i mean it doesn't really matter if you use hot or cold but i just want it to be quicker so i use warm water so three liters so now i'm going to cover it up and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes on a medium heat and this is it now so now i have reduced the uh, heat and i am going to add in my geisha so add it straight away and now give it a nice gentle little stir all right beautiful people now is the right time to add the fish back to the soup so do it as gently as possible and of course do not forget to add the fish stock to the soup because it is packed with so many flavor it makes a very big difference and uh, this is when I am going to add my second Sankofa soup spices. You know, guys, I use these spices every day. It is so nice. And then I am going to add in my Maggi cubes. So as I said, depends on you. You might just need one or two or maybe all the three. It depends on you. But I am adding three this time. And then I am going to... Uh, stir it very very gently and this is the time to add in my mushrooms so I have got here about one cup of close cup mini white mushrooms and of course you can use the ones you like but I think with uh, fish pepper soup these are the best ones but this is just me and then I'm gonna add two extra mini uh, scotch bonnet pepper for the ones that really love um, extra spicy soup like myself and then i am going to give it another gentle stir okay and then i am going to cover it partially just as you see here and let it simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes on a medium heat possible and look at this here my soup is starting to look very nice and have you noticed the oil on top yeah it means it is getting ready and this is it now this is my soup it is ready it smells so good this is exactly what you want look at this nice piece of fish red fish <laughs> um yes so um, this is it it is very very simple to make and you are going to enjoy it if you have friends coming over they are going to really love it it is a very nice authentic Ghanaian soup so what are you going to enjoy this with and me as usual as a real ashanti girl i am going to enjoy it with um, fufu and this is plantain fufu by the way if you want to know how to prepare uh, plantain fufu using fufu mix, I am going to add um, a link to uh, the video, a direct link to the video so that you can watch how to do it. So it will be at the end of this uh, recipe. So now it is time to serve. Add as many fish as you like. Add your mushroom. Don't forget to add a little bit of oil on top of it to make it look nice and presentable. Do not forget to add your okras if you are a big fan of okra like us. All right, friends. Um, this was my Ghana fish light soup um, recipe or fish light soup 
um, pepper soup. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget also to hit your notifications bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time for another Mrs. Jury recipe. Bye!